Tony Abbott's back to Taiwan, the free China, joining the uh, the uh, CPTPP, uh, whatever it is. It's a, some long-winded acronym. <laughs> it's the free. It's TPP basically the Trans <laughs> Trans-Pacific <laughs> Partnership. Yeah, yeah. CPTPP. Good on him. Uh, but, but. So what we've... Yeah, I've been stumbling over it for days. No, no matter how many rehearsals I have, it gets worse. Uh, are we live? Uh, but let me just say, uh, Tamir, I'm, I'm really quite shocked that the reach of, of China into this, trying to, you know, s slow down and stop Taiwan, which is one of our major trading partners and their involvement in the Pacific, is very traditional. And, and anyway, Tony said they should be joining with, with free trading nations, and indeed they should. But the EU have now played a dummy spit role in, in saying to Dan Tian, is his mid-flight going to Europe? Oh, well, look, you know, in brackets, China says, that because that's really what the EU are doing here, trying to keep China happy, we're going to delay the discussions about, about our free trade agreement with Europe. Uh, this, they say, could be about the submarines, but I think it's actually about keeping China happy in this debate. This is, again, Australia's values being tested, Tanvir. We've got to stand resolute on what we stand for. Oh, look, part of me wonders if this is a bit of uh, game playing, Gary. I, the, I think the EU probably Always. had to signal. It was a bit of, um, I think they, to save face for Macron, I think the EU probably needed to, you know, give a bit of a pretense of a bit of a slap to Australia. But I, look, I think it's a bit of a delay. And I know from what I've read about that, uh, our agreement with the EU, the chances of that folding are in fact quite low. Uh, that, that's that's my understanding. I'm, I'm hardly a, a trade expert. But, right, so yeah. you do feel like this is a bit of a diplomatic, uh, you know, ploys just to kind of appease Macron. So look, we'll delay it a bit. We'll, we'll just, you know, we'll annoy the Australians a little bit. But I suspect it's going to come through in the in the next month anyway. But look, with the Taiwan, I, I think that's a yeah. great example of the fact that Australia is in parallel with the AUKUS. We're building lots of friends right across Asia and we're well respected right across Asia. You know, sometimes we're written off yeah, exactly. uh, as like this sort of Anglo power when in fact uh, I think we are, we, we actually can get the best of both worlds where yes, we have very strong values linked to our British past and, you know, that's uh, certainly, uh, you know, linked to the AUKUS. But at the same time, with our multicultural population, it gives us so much power to engage with all these sort of Asian countries. And uh, I think that's exactly what we're doing. I actually think we are actually capable of having uh, almost the best of both worlds, building all these friendships, including Taiwan, all of whom uh, are very wary of the Chinese presence. Uh, so, you know, I think yeah, that not... you, you talked about the art of the possible. You know, I think we're potentially showing what's possible.